We look back to 19 years ago. Highlights from last week's football game and today's last day to nominate someone for homecoming court. We are Richmond and we are. I'm Gavin Lacey. 19 years ago today, two planes hit the World Trade Center towers in New York City. A third plane hit the Pentagon and a fourth crashed in a field in Pennsylvania. While many of our students weren't even born yet to remember this tragic day, Savannah Adams reminds us that many of our teachers were. The tragedy that fell on September 11, 2001 made for a harrowing day in history when an estimated amount of 3,000 people died in a series of terroristic events. And though many of us students weren't alive at the time, RHS teachers recall the experience. That's a day I will never forget. Um, I was in the room next door to where I am now. It's currently Mrs. Avery's classroom. We were, of all things, we were eye step testing on that day. About halfway through the testing, one of the other counselors came in and whispered in my ear that something had happened, um, that there had been an attack in New York City, that two airplanes had crashed into the World Trade Center towers. Uh, at that time, people really didn't know what was going on, uh, but as the day went on, it became pretty obvious that there had been a terror attack on the United States. September 11, 2001, I was a student. I was a student here at Richmond High School. Um, that morning, I was actually in art class with Mr. Rodell, and near the end of the period, he came and he was um, telling my class that he, he had gone back into his office where he had a radio on, and it was said to, you know, one of the news channels, and they had broken in saying that a, a plane had hit one of the um, uh, towers in New York. At that point, did we know it was terrorism? No. Did we know that, you know, it was a commercial airline uh, flight? No. In my government class, a lot of people were just really being quiet because we didn't really understand what was going on at first. We were watching the towers fall and the second plane hit right when I got into class. So we were very, very quiet because we didn't know what was happening. You know, it was still going on in real time and once we knew that that was the world trade center and there were quite a few of my friends who had relatives that worked there so it was extremely concerning for everyone else you know it was a very sombering day again you know as we learn more and more at first you just thought it was an accident but then it, you know, you understood that it was deliberate, that it was a, an act of terrorism, and the mood of everyone around you just changed. When our testing was over at about 11 o'clock, Dr. Warner, who was the principal at the time, came over the, uh, the uh, PA and told all the students what had happened. Um, one of the things I'll remember the most is when I walked out of that testing room that day, one of my seniors walked up to me and said, you know, both of the trade towers collapsed to the ground. And I was just stunned to hear that. I was more of the observant type. So I really wanted to kind of see what was going on. And then that way I would be able to, you know, realize that this is really scary. You know, this is probably my first real kind of attack or something that's, you know, actually affected me. And I just remember for nights, you know, going home that night and sitting and watching the TV for hours. And we did that day after day for a while um, about what's, what was going on. And so uh, it's just a time I'll never forget. Obviously as a nation, did we change in the, you know, days and years after? Of course. And as a teacher at RHS, uh, on September 11th, with my first year students each year, I do an activity on memory. We take a break from learning French and we talk about memory. Um, we examine, you know, what does it mean to remember? What does it mean to forget? Is forgetting, you know, is it an active or passive thing? Uh, do we just casually forget something or do we try to suppress memories? Um, so we look at that way in a way to honor, you know, those who fall and, and those who died on September 11th. For On the Air, I'm Savannah Adams, and America will never forget.
Homecoming is quickly approaching, and time to nominate someone for the homecoming court closes today. Just go to the RHS students page in Canvas to register your vote. All students can nominate, but only seniors can be nominated. Make sure to nominate your favorite seniors today. Three, two. Let's get another quick check of the announcements. Seniors wanting to sign, sign up to take the SAT in October need to sign their counselor. The test will be given right here at RHS. The test will be given on, a, on Tuesday, October 27th. The first meeting for RHS Business Professionals of America will be this Thursday, September 10th at 3 p.m. If you are attending classes that day, you may attend the meeting in person in Mrs. Selm's room 213. If you are virtual learning that day, you may join VIA Google Meet by accessing the code from the announcement in the RHS BPA Canvas course. If, if you are a returning member or you would like to learn about more RHS BPA, please plan to attend in person or virtually. There are some exciting new events this year, including careers and health administration. If you have any questions, please contact Mrs. Selm or Mrs. Withman. Please return any library books that you checked out last year. Books from other buildings like Tess or Dennis can also be returned here and we will send them where they belong. We know it was a little crazy at the end of the year last year and we still want all those books back. If you are a virtual student and want to return library books or check out a library book, please send Mrs. Homer or your English teacher a message in Canvas. You can drop off books that need to be returned at, a wel at the Welcome Center in the front of the building. You can also pick up books that you've checked out online at the Welcome Center. If anyone wants to be part of the RHS Drama Club's fall show, they're going completely virtual. The Red Devil players are producing the monologue show, which is about a drama class rehearsing their monologues and have to switch to doing them virtually. After three months of rehearsing, the internet stage is the least of their problems as there are couples breaking up, a garden gnome thief confessing his crimes and more. Everything that can go wrong will in this collection of hilarious tall tales. Anyone are interested in, the, in joining the production should see Miss, Mr. Langley or send him a message in Canvas. Any student interested in swimming or diving for the 2020-2021 season should report to the pool on Tuesday, September 15th after school. This will be a very short meeting with handout information. If you cannot attend the meeting, you could stop by the counseling office and see Mrs. Huber or check in with Mrs. Smith, PE teacher, to receive information. Preseason practices will begin on September 28th in the mornings only. Wins and losses and important information. Time for the Red Devil Sports Report with Brendan Evans. Boys Tennis brings home the Richmond Invitational hardware and more, including a visit from our athletic director. So let's get started. Boys Tennis hosted their own Richmond Invitational last weekend and fought off seven really good teams to bring home the championship. It came down to a tiebreaker with Marion, but RHS had the edge at number one singles to earn the win. Next up for the boys is an NCC showdown tomorrow at Marion. Girls Golf keeps on winning and they picked up two more in one night with wins over Muncie Central and Winchester when the girls traveled to Winchester Tuesday night. This time it was Ash senior Ashlyn Spurrier who led all scores with a 41. The girls are back in action on Monday with Centerville. Girls soccer picked up two wins also this week, first beating Arsenal Tech last Saturday 3 to nothing. Behind goals was Peyton Morkin, Mary Alice Zaleski, and Sierra Rust. Then on Tuesday, they took down another NCC, NCC team when they shut out Muncie Central 7 to nothing. Five girls scored for RHS, including two goals by Sierra Rust. Molly O'Brien earned her third straight shutout in goal as RHS improved to 4-5 and five overall, and 3-0 and oh in the NCC with a big matchup here at home with Marion tomorrow. It was senior night for volleyball on Tuesday when RHS hosted a tough Union County team. The Red Devils held, held on for a win as they honored Allison Jude and Amanda Wolf. It was RHS's first win over Union County in over four years and it took four sets to do it. Ashley Clark led the way with an amazing 17 kills and Lori Udy added an impressive nine aces. Great job, ladies. As we wrap up sports today, we have a new segment with our athletic director, Mr. Cook, in which each week he'll give, up, he'll give you updates on upcoming events and other important information concerning RHS athletics. Hey everybody, Mr. Cook coming to you from my office again. I just wanted to uh, do some reminders about the football game. 
of uh, the safety of wearing masks and social distancing when we're in the stands. Everybody's been doing a great job uh, so far at all of our events, uh, keeping, keeping themselves and others safe. Um, also, I wanted to mention too, it's senior night. So uh, get there early. Seniors will be honored at 640. And then right after that, we have a special presentation of a state championship ring to our very own Liz Ruger. The last championship event for the IHSAA was gymnastics. So that's the last one that was held. And our very own Liz Ruger was the all-around champion for that particular meet. So she's being honored and being given her uh, state ring. And so get there at 640, watch the seniors, watch us uh, honor Liz and, and everything that she has done and her accomplishments in gymnastics. And make sure you wear your masks and make sure you're social distancing in the stands. We'll see you guys at the game. Hey, that's sports. Remember, the football game tonight is here at home, and it is senior night. So make sure you support the Red Devils and their seniors as they take on NCC rival Muncie Central. That's the show. And as we leave you, here's a look at some highlights from last Friday's game at Arsenal Tech. For On the Air, I'm Gavin Lacey. Have a wonderful weekend.